Today this short video is going to show you how to use lens correction in Photoshop. Okay, so you're using a wide angle lens for a landscape shot or a streak shot. We do that quite often here. Um, a lot of times the wide angle lens will start bending things in the picture. And what this tutorial is going to show you how to do is how to straighten them back out. Now you can do this in camera, in camera raw, Adobe camera raw or Lightroom, but it's better if you wait until you get into Photoshop because you have more options afterwards. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So let's get into it. Okay, we have our photo here that I took a while back of a, of a launch streak shot. And you can see that the, the poles, the, the boat mast and the towers are kind of bent. They're, they're leaning one way or the other. And so what you want to do is before you do anything, before you crop, before you do anything to this picture, you want to come up here to filter and click on lens correction. Okay. Then your uh, then your photo your then your computer should automatically recognize what camera you used, but if it didn't, go ahead and choose the camera make, camera model. Now my model's not in here, so I'm just going to choose Nikon. I used the the D850 for this shot, and then your lens. And I used a Tamron 15 to 30 2.8. All right, and so it made the adjustment in the for the lens itself, but it didn't straighten up everything. So you come in here to custom, and you come down here to the vertical perspective. Watch this area in here. You can see these. I'm going to come down here to the vertical perspective and I usually start right, come straight to the middle and by the time you get to the middle you can really start seeing them straightening up. And right about there is where I would leave it. The mast is straight and this is at negative 73. Now you can play around with the horizontal perspective um, and everything else just to get you know get a feel for it but um, that's all you really need to do just you're straightening this up and you hit OK and you're in your shot. Now you can see that it, it cropped it a little bit as well but all you have to do is come in here to your crop and the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to straighten out the horizon there. I didn't get it completely straight so I'm going to grab the straightening tool, bring it over here, let it go, and there you go. That works pretty good for me. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to grab and pull it up a little bit and I want it to be about like that. Now the cool thing about <clears throat> The new Photoshop's is the AI that they have added also includes um, generative expand when you're cropping. So it's going to take and fill all this area and you just want to make sure you got generative expand uh, clicked. Not transparent, not content aware fill, but generative expand. Then hit your check mark and don't put anything in here. Just hit generate and it'll take a second for it to to fill up or to generate something all right and once it does then you start looking at the pictures now i always turn off the eye just to get a good idea of what it was before all right the, so these two are there and it stops right there it's just to see what what it changes all right so that actually looks pretty good i like that a lot so let's see what the second one looks like. Click on the second one. That one's not bad, but I still like the first one. All right, so let's go to the third one. And no, the third one is not good at all. I don't like the third one at all. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the third one. 
So it's between second, number two, and number one. And I like number one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete number two. Now, if you don't like any of them or you, you find one that you do kind of like, um, go ahead and um, you don't need to put anything in here. Just re-click on generate and it will generate three more. There we go. And then once it does that, you get to see, oh, let's see, that looks like crap. <laughs> so we're going to delete that one automatically. All right, that one's not bad, but it's not as good as the very first one. I like that first one still. So that one, I'm going to not delete it yet, and then I'm going to, now that one's not bad at all either. So I'll, we'll go back to this one and delete it. I don't want that one at all. So we've got that one or the first original one. All right, I think I like that one best. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this first original one. All right. Then get, get that out of your way. Uh, go ahead and bring your photo to its original size. And my D850 takes about 28-inch photo. So I'm just going to pop that back up to 28 inches. You want to make sure that your preserved details is clicked. You want preserved details 2.0. You want inches and you want resolution. If you don't know what your original uh, width is of your picture, before you do anything to it, just go into image, image size, and it'll show you what it originally is. But don't do anything to it yet, and that will show it to, and it will show you what your original size is. So hit OK, and there we go, and there you are. Then you just start doing your your regular editing and you know mid-tones and everything else I showed you in my last video so if this helped you you know leave a like um, if you have a, another cool way of doing this put it down in the comments because I like learning too I'm always trying to learn some new stuff and uh, follow me I'm trying to get some more followers as you can see I've only got like a hundred and something so I hope this helped you and hopefully I'll see you in the next one I'm TJ Waller and this is TJ Waller Photography